Mr. Roker's working from home. He's got his eye on everything, though. What do you got, Al? Yeah, in fact, guys, just 15 minutes ago, Dallas-Fort Worth Airport, minus one. That ties with the third coldest temperature ever uh, for that area, for Dallas. Right now, winter weather alerts for 34 states, literally coast to coast. We're talking 95 million people impacted. This one system is now making its way off the coast and with a mix of freezing rain, snow up into northern New England. Here's our second system, and this is going to be another big problem. Wednesday, the low will develop in the western Gulf, a morning mix of snow, sleet, and rain for Texas and Oklahoma, where they do not need it. And then as we move through third Wednesday night into Thursday morning, that all starts to mix into the northeast and mid-Atlantic as a second low develops along the coast. And then as we move into Friday, that storm system pulls off. Snow and ice continues into the northeast. We are looking through Wednesday for another two to five inches of snow for Dallas. They do not need that, obviously. Three to six inches in Oklahoma City, up to nine inches in uh, Little Rock, five inches in Memphis. And as we make our way Wednesday into Friday into the Northeast, we're looking at generally moderate snow from the Appalachians into the Northeast and parts of New England and ice, dangerous ice conditions through Thursday from Eastern Texas into Tennessee and also the Appalachians into the mid-Atlantic and parts of the Northeast as well, guys. And of course, there's this brutally cold air. We're gonna take a look at that coming up, but those temperatures are gonna be hanging around for at least the next five to six days. So winter is not releasing its grip anytime soon.